Sometimes your images have overly dark or overly highlighted areas that you want to work on. Now in situations like we have with this aeroplane, it's a heavily backlit subject where we've metered for the sky, leaving the underbelly of the plane quite underexposed. Now we're going to work on this quickly just to show you how to bring out those low lights, bring out those shadowed areas so we've got some detail under the plane. I'll do it in Lightroom 2 and in Photoshop CS2 to show you the very very quick and easy ways just to bring out those details if you don't know already. Now in Lightroom it's very very simple, there's one tool here you can see in the tone and um, in the treatment area we've got the, the fill light slider here. All you do is simply drag that over until you get the detail into the plane and you can see there we've added all that detail under the plane. If we go a bit further it overdoes it slightly but then we can bring back the blacks here just to add a, a touch more contrast just to make it look more realistic so you can see there we've added that contrast uh, sorry we've added that detail on the underbelly of the plane now the only thing you, that happens when you're doing this is you may end up with some grain or noise so really all you need to do is just go down to the noise reduction if I can find it there we are and just add a touch of noise reduction um, you can either do it here or you can do it in um, Photoshop using something like neat image but Generally that's a very very quick and easy way just to use Lightroom 2 to recover those details from shaded areas just using the fill light slider there and then add some black back just to increase the contrast slightly. So that's that done in uh, Lightroom 2, let's now go to Photoshop. And here we are in Photoshop, we're in CS3 uh, and I think what I'm about to do is also available in CS2. If you've got anything older there's a, I'd have to look for another way of doing this. Um, but if you go to Image adjustments and shadow highlights it brings up the shadow highlight tool here now you can either increase and pull out the detail from the shadows or you can decrease the highlights um, using these two sliders now we're just going to work on the shadows so if we do the same as what we did in Lightroom and just pull that across until we get the detail from the underside of the plane it's really as simple as that and we have all the detail there uh, and once again you're probably going to get a bit of noise there so you can either run over it excuse me run over it with the a very very light blur tool and just just blur out the um, the the noise from the underbelly there I've got it set far too strong at the moment but you can you can either use the blur tool set at a really low setting of three or four percent um, or you can use neat image which we have loaded in here um, but really that is a very simple way of just using Photoshop using the shadow highlight tool to, to bring out the, the details from a dark shaded area such as that very very simple indeed I've also got another photo loaded here where we've got some shaded areas here on my daughter that we want to bring out. Now if I was to simply use the levels tool, you see as I'm brightening up the highlights and a jumper, we're losing everything else as well. Um, we could also use the shadow highlight tool here, which is not a problem, we can just do that and increase that and you've brought out all the details in the clothes um, without affecting anything else. But if you didn't have the shadow highlight tool in whatever program you're using, if you've got Photoshop CS or um, Photoshop 7 or something, there is another way of doing this and I'll show you that quickly and I've used this on uh, quite a few photos anyway. I want to work on the dark areas without affecting the bright areas here so I'll go to select color range and then select all the highlights and you can see we select all the highlights leaving the darker areas there. So I click OK and that's that. Now if I right click and select inverse, now all I've got is selected the darker areas or everything that isn't highlights. You can select, you can do this other ways but this is the easiest way to select all the dark areas. Now if I was to work on that now, you would get quite harsh lines where I'm, I've been working on it so we need to feather it slightly. So you right click again, feather, and we're going to feather, it's quite a large image, I'm going to feather say 20. That should give quite a nice smooth outline to whatever we work on. If I now go to image adjustments and levels you can see we've got quite a big gap there to work with so if I just pull that over it should start increasing the the detail in the the darker areas there so if I bring it to about there you can see we've increased just brought out the the, the shadow detail there but we've also um, brought out a bit more of the face and the trousers and everything now while I'm on this what I can also do is go to image adjustments and highlight tool and I can then instead of using the shadows in fact if I want to bring some more shadows out I can do just bring a touch more out of the the top there so the top now is not completely black it's got a lot of detail in there we didn't see before if I now use the highlights tool and bring this across you can see the clouds behind will go slightly I can go crazy dark but if I just want to tone this down ever so slightly 
I can just bring it across just until there's a bit more detail in those clouds in the background, not overdo it uh, to about there. I'm actually going to reduce the shadows because I, I like a bit more contrast there, so let's do that to about there. And the highlights are just about fine, so really those two tools are very, very easy in Photoshop CS2 or higher. Uh, you can just reduce the highlights and increase the detail in the shadowed areas. But also don't forget Lightroom because it's probably one of the best programs for, for doing that, as you saw before. So I hope that helps, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.